All right, hey, well, welcome back. Ah, yes, back in the city. Ah, which kind of stinks because now I'm back at work. Today we're gonna talk about what my plans are for this channel, what direction I plan on going with this channel. And just to let the geocachers know, I will always do geocaching on this channel, but I am adding some other content to this channel. I just don't want to start another whole channel up. So I hope that you'll bear with me as I do a little bit of a change on this channel. Anyway, before we get started, we are on the action four today. Uh, yeah, I decided to use the action four today. I don't know why, but well, I do know why, because I have figured out a way to put a black mist filter on the Action 4. That'll be a totally different video, and I'll show you exactly how I hacked this camera so that a black mist filter will get on it. Well, enough of that, because this video is going to be about what my plans are for this channel, where I plan to go. Now, I've done a video like this before, and this is something that I've had on my mind for a couple years. And I finally decided that, you know what, it's time to add a little more content to this channel just besides geocaching. Don't get me wrong, love geocaching. I will continue to do geocaching and I will always do geocaching. But I also like to do a lot of other things. I love cameras and technology and all that kind of stuff. So I thought it's time to add that to this channel. Well, that took me a second here. I had to get some uh, puppy loves there. Somebody was walking their dog and it just come up to me and I had to do some petting there. Now about this channel and what my plans are and how I pr plan to proceed with this channel and the way I do my videos and also the way I edit them and upload them because that is all part of this process and editing can be a real pain in the butt. So what I've decided to do is I wanna try to streamline all that. Now I've been on YouTube since 2010 i have two different channels if you want to check my fishing channel out the link will be in the description below over those 13 years i've done it i've never really taken this that serious it's just a fun hobby to have i have loved learning everything i've learned about cameras and about all that other different stuff through all those years that i've done it i've really have done everything that all the big YouTubers tell you to do. All the people out there are trying to teach you all the different lessons, all the different things. You need to do this, you need to do that, you need ND filters, you need this, blah, 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 blah. And I'll tell you what, following all those things have gotten me uh, nowhere. And really, buying a bunch of accessories has really gotten me nowhere. And like I said before, that's a whole other video, but I've decided on these two cameras to put aside all the extra stuff and do it a little bit different. The first thing I'm gonna talk about is I am not gonna go out and buy a bunch of different filters, whether they be ND filters, variable ND filters, or all that other stuff in cages and all that other crap that really I can say after all these years, don't really make a damn bit of difference whether you have that stuff or not. All right, so then the next thing is gonna be editing. And you know what? Editing is a pain. I mean, it is tough and it is hard. And you know, to have to spend hours upon hours on a computer, I just don't have that kind of time. I really don't. That's why I'm trying to figure out the best way to use normal color profile and how is the dynamic range with that sun behind me and normal color profile because d log m it really stinks but i don't know we'll see we'll see yeah to spend you know two even two three four hours editing a video i i just don't have that kind of time i really don't i work a full-time job i have you know a wife a house that i have to take care of i have you know, dogs that need to be walked. So yeah, it just doesn't work out that well that I have a ton of time to sit and edit. So what I've decided is that 
instead of getting like Adobe Premiere Pro, spending all that money, or, uh, you know, upgrading DaVinci Resolve, I do have that on my computer. I don't use it a lot. And even the Power Director program that I have that I use a lot because it's very simple to use. You know, as I said, I just don't have a lot of time to sit there on a computer and have to sit down and edit a video just doesn't work for me. So now what I've done, and I know some people are gonna say, oh, Steve, you can't do that, or, uh, you know, that's not right, or, you know, that's not being professional, you're not being cinematic with your videos or whatever. I'll tell you what, this is an action camera. There's no cinematic about it. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care what any YouTuber out there wants to tell you that you can do this and do that and get that cinematic look. They're full of crap because it's an action camera. That's it. There's no cinematic about it. Can you try to make it look as best you can? Sure, sure you can. But cinematic, nah. There's nothing cinematic about an action camera. That's for sure. Or even the Pocket 3. I mean, yeah, the Pocket 3 is a very nice camera. I love it. It's a lot of fun to use, but is it a cinematic camera? No, it's really not. And the people that are telling you that, like I said, they're full of crap. So now what I've decided to do is use the Power Director app. And I really like this app because it's simple for me to use. I put it on my 11 inch tablet. I can take that tablet with me anywhere. I can throw it in my pack. I can take it along with me. It can go anywhere with me. I can have it at work. I can use it at like lunchtime if I'm not out here doing this and edit videos. And I've gotten it down pretty good to where I can edit videos pretty quickly on this and make them look fairly decent. You know, I've kind of learned a little bit about how to make my cuts look better. And I don't really use transitions, so I don't really worry about all that stuff. I mean, I might use a, you know, a fade here and there or something like that, but really, I rarely use transitions anymore. It's basically more hard cuts and J cuts. Try not to be fancy with it. I just try to put out a good video and I've been working on trying to make that video look much better with my edits. Still got a long way to go, but you know, it is working out, it is looking better. I think they're start, my, my cuts are starting to look much, much better. But yeah, those are some of the things that I'm gonna try to do in the future. And then, of course, uploading to YouTube. It's pretty seamless with the Power Director app. It doesn't really take me a lot of time to do it. Uh, I can produce the video and then I can just take it and upload it right there off my tablet straight to YouTube. And I tell you what, it works really, really well. I mean, I, I have never had an issue with it or had it take me way too long. And I generally try to keep my videos between five and 10 minutes anyway. Uh, every once in a while I might get over that 10 minute mark, but very, very seldom. But yeah, it, it works really, really well. I'm really kind of surprised how well it does work. Now, one last thing before I get out of here. Uh, if anybody's interested, check out these two books. One is How to Shoot Videos That Doesn't Suck. And then another book that I found and I really, really like and has taught me a lot is how to edit videos that people want to watch. Those two books right there, I suggest that to anyone who wants to get into doing this or is just starting out. I really can't recommend those two books enough. All right, well, that's all I got. I'm gonna get out of here. Everybody out there have a great day, great week. Man, it is beautiful out, so hopefully this week will uh, Stay like this. I know it's supposed to rain later in the week. Eh, rain, rain, rain. Um, but other than that, you know how it always is. Be safe out there. Take care. And we will catch you next time.